Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to another edition of Anna Space. Yeah! So today, we're gonna make something delicious. It's a Ghanaian meal that is made out of millet, some spices, you know, some sumptuous, sumptuous things, eh? We're gonna make fula, aka fura, aka the millet spicy drink, aka Ayrton Ayrton. Y'all already know. So go with me to the kitchen. Oh, but wait, before I go, thank you all for your love, your support, your subscriptions. Eh, mwah, I love it all. And if you're a new subscriber, welcome to NSS. And if you're an old subscriber, thank you for being loyal. So today, let's head right into the kitchen. Make some things going on. I bet you know. I bet you know. We're going to make it. Stay tuned and stay blessed. Mwah. beautiful people let's get right into this video so I have my hot peppers they're dry peppers I have my cloves my salem or rintia I have my ginger ginger powder and then we have peppercorn and then we have the all master millet flour this is the gray millet that I use but I know you could use the red millet flour as well and then I, what I'm gonna do next is to just um, heat up or just put my spices my dry spices on fire just to toss it up a little bit it kind of just gives it more flavor and more good smell to the spice and to your fula and please make sure you do wash all your dry ingredients um the printia the cloves the pepper and any other the peppercorn also please do make sure that you wash them thoroughly before you toss them on the um the frying pan or the pan so i'm just going ahead to just put it in my blender just to blend it add a little water i actually mixed the pan water and then just added it together i'm going to add my dry peppers also and then we're going to put all that goodness into the bowl of millet flour the great millet flour so you work it out with your hands right this is where you wash your hands very well when you pour the stuff in there, your hands are gonna go to work. So we're just gonna pour everything in there and then pretty much just work it out, mush it all together or mix it all together to get like a firm texture. And then when you get that firm texture, you pretty much just leave it on there for two days. That's pretty much all you do. This fula was amazing. I still have some in the fridge and this keeps it, the way I did it or the method I used for it, actually kept it longer and it kept it softer you know you put it in the blender and you don't have to like struggle to break it down now this fula was everything it reminded me of nima <laughs> it reminded me of my days back in nima but yeah that's pretty much what you do and then you just cover it up um you find a place that's warm you cover it up for a day or two I couldn't wait I couldn't wait for two days because I needed to drink that fula so I went ahead to just um, add more water what I did was I blended more of the spices the huintia the cloves the peppercorn the dry peppers and the ginger powder all together again and then poured it on it as wa um, my water I didn't just pour plain water in it the reason why is because I want to retain a lot of the spices and the pepperness or the pepperish taste of it so again you just mash it together and then you put your arm to work I actually did go ahead to sieve it because it had it had um, a lot of the seasonings in there so I had to go ahead to sieve it this is the texture I was talking about keep it in this texture look at all that goodness Whew, it was good <laughs> but we just, I'm just gonna go ahead to sieve it just to get um, all the chaff from the seasoning or the spices in there and these spices are actually really really good for you the huintia I know from Ghana was is used for uh, morukuku <laughs> kondo porridge which is really really good for you these are her these herbs actually really did help us growing up so yeah that's pretty much all I'm doing here
okay so i went ahead to pour in my fuller and you want to put the heat on medium heat just uh, just uh fyi this is where you need to actually put in the work more because you're going to stir it up like the way you do to banku ube kano as a banku what i say so you're going to actually stir it up so it's going to thicken up so just a fyi um the better you make the consistency of um the liquid more watery for yourself then that's less stirring so this is me actually adding more because i realized it was too soft for me so i went ahead to add more flour that's the millet flour and then i kept stirring it just to get the consistency i want i kind of believe that fula it shouldn't really have a specific measurement because it's you literally doing your thing trying and seeing which one works best for you so i kind of had to add flour um to it while it's going on just to get the thickness and the hardness or firmness that i wanted your girl is really trying to drive this this fula or or treat this fula pa <laughs> So yeah, you can see like the colors are beginning to change, which we want, and the firmness is there now. So yeah. Okay, I went ahead to actually um, pour it or turn it over in a plate and then spread it around so it's easy for me to take or so it cools down before I actually grab it. So all you need to do is just put some little flour in your hands and then take portion of it and then begin to just roll it. Fula is it's, it's in a round shape. That's how it's sold in Ghana or in Africa. So all I'm doing is just put some flour so it doesn't stick to my hands. And that's the firmness that you want to keep it soft for a long period of time and still look fresh so that's pretty much all I'm doing you keep doing that till you get everything in a round shape then your fula is ready <laughs> Okay, so now I'm just showing you guys how I actually prepare my I menumia medepan. So I went ahead to add um, a local pig milk or milk powder of your choice. I added some Greek yogurt, the coconut chobani yogurt, and then I added some evaporated milk. I know that's a lot of goodness in one blender, but yeah, and then I added some sugar for taste. And I'm actually gonna pour water on it because that'll be too thick. Pour some water in there and all you do is to blend it and you have your fula. This fula was really, really good. And um, I'll just say that if you want it spicy, you add more pepper and or peppercorn. But to keep it mild spicy is actually easier to enjoy than keeping it spicy and keep it in a fridge. My name chill it. What's it here? And um, the rest of the fula, you could actually just put it in a Ziploc bag. Um, airtight in an airtight ziplock bag and then just you know put it in the fridge look at all that goodness see that oh it was so refreshing it reminded me it took me way back <laughs> to Ghana but yeah thank you all so much for watching and I really do appreciate it thank you and make sure you do like share and subscribe to my channel for more goodness love you guys and stay blessed And oh, before I forget, let us just watch a bit of me. Thank you guys so much for watching that video. So hope you know how to make fula now, aka fula, aka the millet drink, aka etten etten. So today, I have a bit of me for you. So today I know that in this pandemic that we're living, it brings fear, it brings a lot of anxiety. I just want you to know that do not fear. If you believe in God, if you know where God is taking you, 
you shall not fear. There's a lot of chaos, there's a lot of news, but stick to what God has told you. In Psalm 121 verse 4, it says, Behold, he keeps Israel. So I want you to take the Israel from there, and I want you to put your name there. He who keeps Enna, he who keeps whoever you are, will neither sleep nor slumber. Remember that fear has a no no place in your life that god has not given us a spirit of fear but the spirit of goodness eh? to conquer everything that comes our way it might even be the fear of doing something in your life the fear of starting a business the fear of going to school the fear of even starting a good relationship i don't want you to fear fear has no place in your life it's just the devil's work fear has nothing to do with you god has not given us that fear he has given us light hope he has given us the strength confidence Lift your chin up high, says, and do not fear. My brother, do not fear. Fear got nothing on your body. Eh? Remember that he that watches over you, he neither sleeps nor slumber. I love you guys. Thank you so much for your support and love. Go ahead, subscribe either here or here. One of them, hit that subscribe button so we can join more beautiful, amazing recipes, amazing things, and tons and tons to come. Thank you so much. Like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to leave your comments. I love to read your comments and I love to reply your comments. Stay blessed and God be with you.